Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm very excited today. I've been waiting a long time for this. Jayco has finally come out with a camper van that seats for and sleeps for. Let's check out this Jayco Swift 20D. Now the 2023 does have some upgrades, mostly on the inside, which we'll get into, but we're starting off with the Ram ProMaster 3500 chassis. This has the Pentastar V6, which is pretty good on gas. Um, it's a pretty reliable engine. There's a lot of these in circulation. Parts are easy to find. And you know what? Dodge is doing a really great job, or Ram I should say, with everything in the last few years. I'm very impressed with the quality. Now they're using a window van, so all of these windows are built in the factory by robots. A lot of times, RV manufacturers will start off with a like a delivery van and they'll put little plastic windows in. This one, the windows are all factory made. They did put these inserts in, so these will push in and open so you can get ventilation. There's two on each side to give you lots and lots of fresh air. Down here on the bottom, low point drains are easy to get to. Sewer is easy to get to. This is the exhaust for the generator. Then you've got here a little docking light right up here. So when you're setting up at night, it makes it easier. You've got some plugs, black tank flush, city water. This is your 30 amp power supply. And if you happen to have cable or satellite, that'll go there. Just a small little area with your hookups. Very nice, very easy. Coming on down, you've got your gray tank right here. Propane fill station here. They've added these nice little running boards. Nice. You may notice on this particular model, the roof looks a little bit different and we'll get into that in a minute too. Coming down the campsite, we got a nice big running board for the passenger door and the side cargo door. You do have the Thule awning as you get on all Jayco Swifts. Outside speakers up here more 110 plugs and these little clips are for the awning because it has arms so when it comes out there is an arm that can connect to here extra support here at the back you do have a receiver this will tow 3,500 pounds so a little cargo trailer or a very small car up here you've got your backup camera one other new feature I just noticed this is your normal handle so you'll need the key or the key fob to get in. On this new version, you've got a button just like you would on a Ram truck to lock and unlock wirelessly. Very cool. Before we go in, this is pretty cool. Nice little screen, doesn't take up a lot of space just to keep the bugs out. It won't be 100% effective, but I'd say like 99. Once you come in, you've got your battery disconnect switch right here. Then all your controls are right here at the entrance. So, light master on, you've got your water pump, tank heater, generator controls. This does have AGS, so the generator will run itself. You've got your solar, inverter, so it does have a thousand watt inverter, temperature. All your independent lights your automatic generator. So this will trigger when the batteries get a bit low, it'll charge itself up. Temperature control, this is for your air conditioner, awning, and then your settings. This is your Truma. So this will control your heat and your hot water here on the inside. Okay. One other cool thing I thought I should mention with the 2023, this is the key for the 2022. So ProMaster was kind of basic, you know, flip up key. 2023 has more of a Ram key, like you would see on a pickup truck. For an example, here's my truck. So very similar to a Ram pickup truck key and it's push button. So instead of using the key, we now have push to start, finally. Okay, so here's the new updated Ram cabin. This feels a lot less dated than last year. Last year, the biggest problem with the Ram ProMaster was it was just very basic looking. It did not look like something from 2022. 
Now we've got this digital cluster. We've got this nice digital display with navigation. Everything just is a little more updated. I love this gear shift right here. This one does have power mirrors, power windows, power locks, power e-brake, steering wheel controls, media controls, Ram charger. I love that. You just stick your phone in there and you're good to go. Wireless charging. Lane assist, traction control. I mean, it's about time, guys. Dodge has finally updated this and I'm very happy with what I'm seeing. Now these seats will swivel. There used to be like a little bar that was really hard to get to. The new seats, you just pull up on here. I have to turn, uh, turn the car off to do it. But you have a piece right here that you pull on to swivel it. Let me show you. Okay, so to make this work, this corner pulls up and then you can swivel your seat around. Ugh. You'll have to excuse me, it's pretty cold today. Everything's frozen. Makes things a little more difficult. These seats are nice, so both of these seats will swivel. Then you have your passenger seats back here. So proper seats, not just like a little bench seat like in some. When you turn these all around, you've got a little lounge. One unfortunate part about these seats, I don't see a car seat tether. So you'd have to attach car seats with the seat belt, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Up here we have our European style Technoform cabinets, like you'll see in all the Swifts and the Integras. I really like these, very modern, very trendy. They look great, they work great. People seem to really like them. These are those windows that open, you just pinch here, pull, and they do have retractable screens. MCD roller shades. So before we go into the back, I want to show you what's up here. So we have these stairs that go up into the new pop top, which is what I'm really excited about. So what you do is, now this is a little bit tricky the first time you do it. Turn this around. There's not a lot of space, so you got to do this just right. There we go. So the stairs just hook in right here. And I'll show you a couple other things. So up here in the pop top, this little button, push that to release. You've got two handles right here. So we're just gonna push on this roof. Push, push, push. And up she goes. I wouldn't say this is difficult but it is frozen, so the struts are a little tougher, but check this out. We got a pop top. Zipper here, zipper here. Nice thick teddy bear mattress, like you'd see in a trailer. Some bed springs, and we're camping. Now it's like minus 10 today. Wouldn't recommend camping in this in minus 10. Spring, fall, summer, this is gonna be fantastic. Also, we got little cool stuff like this. Little reading lights, both sides. You've got USBs down here. This window will open as well to give you lots of ventilation. Okay, so coming down the hallway, we got some storage here. Could be a good pantry. More storage down here. You've got your warranty bag power cord and your tire inflator back here in case you get a flat tire then this is one of the best parts look at this bathroom so you've got a medicine cabinet place to hold some stuff here toilet sink over here for a camper van guys this is a nice size wet bath i'm not gonna lie if you want to leave the door open, this will fold in half to get out of the way. And then you close it like that. Looks good. Lock right here for when you're driving so it doesn't fly open. Not bad. It's a narrow hallway, but I have no problem walking down here. 
ready for a snack. This is a big fridge for a little van, guys. Freezer, plenty of steaks in there. Plenty of storage. This is probably one of the one of the bigger fridges I've seen in this type of a unit. Over here, we've got our light switches. You can turn on the generator. You can run your awning in and out. And more of that Technoform cabinetry up here. I like the way these work. It's kind of like the overhead compartments on an airplane. Now, last year, these cushions were all a kind of a durable vinyl. They've went to more of a cloth, which I honestly, I find it more comfortable and a little bit more cozy. The vinyl's a bit more stain resistant, but at the end of the day, you know, keep your dog off the couch, guys. Coming down the hall, you can put your lagoon table here or here. What's a lagoon table? That's a lagoon table. Then we do have another ventilated window here and here. Got your Insignia Smart TV with storage behind. If you're a gamer, put your Xbox back there. More storage. You get the solid surface Corian type countertops. Induction cooking. You've got the Thetford sink organizer. And a nice convection oven right here. Storage under the sink, under here. And an extra pull-out cutting board with some more storage for cutlery. Now, before we wrap up here, there's one more feature I almost missed that you're gonna love if you've got small kids. So if you're like me, the little guys on a long trip get pretty bored and pretty loud. So why not put a big TV <laughs> right here so the kids can watch a show? You know, there's mixed feelings on kids with TV, but man, we're on a two, three hour drive. That's going to have Coco Melon in my house. And last but certainly, certainly not least, mom and dad's bed is right back here. So the couch just slides out. This goes in there and you got a bed big enough for two adults. Now, is it the easiest to get in and out of? No. Is it comfortable? Yeah. But at the end of the day, guys, this is a camper van. It's 20 feet, 11 inches long. To be able to have two sleep, two sleep here and two up here in a van this small, that's a heck of an accomplishment. Well, that's all I got for you for today. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sure there's things I missed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'd be happy if I get enough questions to make a follow-up Q&A video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.